that I've expounded my humble opinion about what I observe in a community that is quite full of diversity, I want to talk about whiteism. Whiteism is this attitude by white people that they think that they too do not have any responsibility to properly rear their children. Their attitude is because I'm white, I don't have to do anything right. In other words, I can just allow the child to be wayward, I can just allow the child to be forward, I can just allow the child to be himself without giving him any guidance at any point of time. I find that offensive. What I have found in terms of elitism on campus is that there are many children who will walk by someone who's homeless and lie to themselves about what they should and shouldn't say. It shows a total depravity of soul and it shows a total inability of the parents of those children because they still are technically children. They are still living on mommy's and daddy's dime. They are still coming here, probably not fully paying for their college education without some help from parentage who's not here. But the reality is that they'll often say something like, sorry, I don't have any money. And you're like, you know what? Didn't ask for anything, but second, you're lying. You have money in a bank, and you have a bank card that you could go to machine if you gave a shit and donate something. But you don't want to do that. You also have the ability to ask the question of, how did you get to this point so that I can avoid that? At the same time, you can walk up to someone and say, hey, you might be in struggle right now, and the Lord God above is encouraging me to talk to you and see if there's anything I can do. Because there's nothing more shameful than an American citizen who's willing to feed an animal over feeding a human. But the bottom line is, in order for people to understand what's going on for people and see the real truth of a person, is to take time to talk to them. Because once you talk to them, it dispels all your imaginations about what is occurring, what is real, and what is fact.